Okay, O slash, if you're ready for a Sims and Bloom legacy recap, because it has been quite some time since we last played with this family. So I think I need a recap as well. Um, this is my first time back for my, my little break. So to YouTube viewers, hello, I've returned. <laughs> I promise I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> um, Tuna, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. And Sathalyn, yay! Congrats on the wedding. Thank you. You looked gorgeous, Rishla. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Can we get some pride emotes in the chat for that gay badge? 12 month resub. Okay. Let's so see what we got going on in here. Welcome back, oh, thank you. Thanks for the seven months. All right. So if you're new here, this is my Sims and Bloom family. This is Forrest. Forrest uses they, them pronouns. They are our generation two Sim. So we're not necessarily playing with them as the main sim right now but they live with their daughter iris um and iris uh uses she her pronouns and is our lavender generation sim okay so that's why she's purple vibes so we're currently on iris's generation um iris has a boyfriend named kaden who i really think they need like i'm pretty sure they're gonna want to get married we're gonna see about doing a wedding when the kids are older um but this was her childhood bestie and now um, lover and father of their two children, who we have Briar, who is a little cutie patootie. She's going to be our Rose Generation heir. I'm like obsessed with her. I love her so much. And this is Thorn, who is our new baby. As you can see, we literally just aged him up. Um, and he is now a part of the family as well. So I think we have to do Thorne's bedroom, right? Because uh, this used to be this used to be Kylie's bedroom, but Kylie doesn't live here anymore. So we're going to turn this into Thorne's bedroom now. I think might be one of our first moves, right? I think so. Yes, so many gay badges this month. Hi, Purple. How are you? Okay, so I'll get rid of that. I can get rid of like all of this. Like, this was all Kylie's stuff. Kylie uh, doesn't live here anymore. She found a land grab mermaid that she's with now. So we can just get rid of all of her stuff. I kind of want to leave the decorations she made, though, because I think they're cute. Um, And I really like the painting. I think this painting was made by Petal, who is dead now, so I don't really want to get rid of it. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, this bed we were going to make for our daughter when she ages up. So we have that. Um, all right. I need to think of a bedroom for a young child. I'm missing Petal. I miss Petal too. I really do. How am I? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing just great, actually. Thank you for asking. I guess I could get a dresser in this room too, but maybe I'll just move that in the inventory for now. Um, all right, let's change the wallpaper a little bit. I kind of want to do like dino room vibes. I don't know though. Cause I think the dino rug would be kind of fun to do, right? I feel like this painting can still work. I might move it though. We'll have to see. Kylie was hot mess express, but I will miss her. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Kylie too, to be honest with you. Kylie was one of my favorite Sims. Um, all right, let's get the baby crib. I'm thinking the crib can be, I don't know. Maybe I want the changing table here and the crib like here. I feel like that's a little better. We're not making it red. Well, Thorn isn't gonna be the heir. So I don't think that, um, there, we can put this picture. Well, no, that's actually not. That doesn't have Thorn in it. Uh, Thorn isn't going to be the heir, so I don't think uh, Thorn's room needs to be red. You know what I mean? I feel like if a kid's not the heir, I don't necessarily try to make their room um, the color, if that makes sense. Oh, do I have his handprints somewhere? I probably have it in Iris's inventory. 
when I finish playing my current challenge, I do plan on your career legacy challenge. Yay! I hope you have so much fun. That's exciting. Is Kyle still alive? Yeah, I think Kyle is still alive. Uh, we could do like, we could do froggy room or do we want dino room? What do you guys think? Because with dino room, we could do like dinosaur rug. But with Froggy Room, it's green. Which one do you like better? I'd probably change the walls to blue if we do Dino Room. Thanks for the hype train, by the way. Dino, 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 Frog, Frog. Okay, it looks like Dino is winning. In honor of the cutoff trailer, we'll do Dino Room. Um, that makes sense to me, honestly. There. I like that. I think that's nice. The frog is from uh, my first pet stuff, so it's not custom content. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> it's it's a choice you can make if you want. OK, let's get one of these thingies. Above the changing table. Thanks for the scratches for Olivia. I missed you guys, by the way, like, holy cannoli. It feels a little surreal being back in streaming. Like it almost feels like I've forgotten how to stream. So if I am a little bit rusty, super my bad. Um, I, I apologize. <laughs> I, uh, I'll just try my best to not be super rusty, you know? Um, Lily, hey, thank you. Oh, it's good to see you as well. Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. Um, what is streaming anyways? I don't I don't even know. Yeah, I'm just I'm excited to be here. I don't know if this painting really matches in there anymore, so I might just leave it out here. Yeah, the my first pet stuff and the spooky stuff pack were both kind of like weird ones, I would say. Painting could go in this room. It's just an interesting painting. Okay, uh, what else does my infant need? Nothing really. Do I have a toddler potty? I do. I have a toddler potty in there. I hate to say it, but like the infant doesn't need a lot of stuff. I guess I could get like a little infant mat type thing. Do I want to just put this in the room alone? It kind of feels mean. Uh, Stephanie, thank you for the first time sub chat. You know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing. But most importantly, enjoy your new smile. It's time to commence the ritual, everyone. Yeah, I could get some curtains, too. That's a good idea. Maybe just have like a little table and a chair in here. Just for those like long, long nights. Here we go. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, I kind of want to see if I can get a picture of him. Like I got this really good picture of um, Blair or Briar, sorry. Like, doesn't that look like a pose? It's not. It's not. I just got really lucky. Um, how's the rest of the game announcements? It was a lot of like psychological horror at the end, so I wasn't vibing with it at the end, but um, that's okay. I thought overall it was really fun, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm not a psychological horror girly, so it just was not for me. Okay, I feel like I need something on this wall, but I think I have um, his handprints, so maybe I can just do this. There we go. That feels cute. I, I don't really want to like go too in depth with like the nursery because, you know, he's going to age up, so it won't last forever. Also, I think Iris made this hat for him. So when he gets old enough. um, Or no, did I make this for my daughter? I can't remember. Maybe I made it for my daughter. I don't know, but I have to make a knitted 
piece of clothing for all my family members as a part of this generation. Such a cute nursery. Thank you. Um, Hammer Watch 2. Oh, I can't remember which that one was. Okay, um, should I look at the kits? I feel like there's a lot of new stuff that I haven't looked at yet. What are these? Okay. There's a storybook house stand. Self-care book tray. Oh my god, this is so cute. Are you literally... I'm gonna throw up. This is adorable. Sorry, I haven't really gotten to look at the new items yet. So this is really exciting for me. That's really cute. This like self-care tray is actually kind of cute too. I feel like I could put it maybe on their coffee table. Thank you for all I don't the know. Throughout the time I've been watching Rish Love. <gasps> of course. Thank you for the resub vials. I appreciate it. Thank you. Maybe we can put this like here. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I don't know where all the new furniture is. There's also a new sofa. Hey, that looks comfy. Oh, that looks really comfy. There's new. <gasps> Ooh, that's a cute coffee table. There's modular bookshelves. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, like these guys. Finally, these bookshelves look really good. I like that. I like that they give you like different options, like partially full versus like full full, you know? Um, basically empty book basket, the pile, traveler's trunk. I guess I just have a lot of items that I have not looked through yet because there's just like new tags everywhere. Well, this is cute. I don't think any of my Sims are currently like bookworms, but like for the future, it will be fun to definitely like do some more book stuff. They have rainbow book swatches. Do they really? These ones right here. Ooh. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah, there are some good swatches in this. That's really nice. Thank you for the resub, Taddy. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, well, sick. I think that's all I really need to do right now, though, right? I don't think I need anything else, per se. Unless I want to get, like, a little play area here for my daughter. Um, but you know what? Maybe I will. Because this kind of area was going to be, like, a kid's play space. So what if we got... Well, I could do, like, the tent, maybe? I mean, it just feels so big, but, like, it fits there. Do a little tent. And then maybe for when they're older, we can do, like, um, some arts and crafts over here. Or, like, the chemistry bench. That might be a good one to do. Uh, what world is this in? This is in Evergreen Harbor from Eco Lifestyle. So. <laughs> Clever guy. Maybe. Do you think it'd be cute to put like arts and crafts out here so that they can like do arts and crafts by whichever parent might be doing arts and crafts? I think that's kind of exciting. What if we just put like two facing each other kind of like this? They can all do like arts together. I kind of like that. Donnan, thank you for the resub for two months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Holy cannoli. There's been so many resubs today, you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um. Yeah, because I don't know like what else I would put over here. Other than this play mat thing. Okay. I might have to teleport my kid 
so that he doesn't get stuck. I don't know. Can you can you pick him up? <sighs> yeah, exactly. That is what's happening. All right, let's go uh, put Thorn down. There we go. Yay! I have no like. Maybe maybe that won't work there. You put Thorn down here. Um, I have no memory. Did I like say I was going to do anything last episode? Because <laughs> I don't remember anything. Uh oh, why are you upset? You just don't like being put down. Okay, well, we'll do some tummy time then. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. It looks like Briar is entertaining herself, which is really good. Ooh, you know what I should get? I should get them a Wabbit tablet. I think that's something I am going to regret not having. Why did it not give me what I wanted? There we go. Um, so let's get like one of different colors so that her brother can have one too. There we go. That's funny you think I would remember. Well, I don't know. Sometimes y'all remember more about my Let's Plays than I remember. So... You know, sometimes you remember like the most intricate details. If you get a normal tablet, they can use it at all ages. Oh, well, that's fine. I usually just end up selling the Wabbit tablets again. You're so cute. I want to get little pictures of him. I'm in the mood for some retail therapy. No, thanks. <laughs> no, thanks. Put Thorn down here. I wonder if I can take a picture of him just lying on the concrete. It's a little messed up. Oh, but look at how cute he is. Maybe just like a little bit more like this. He's just a little man. Here we go. What a little guy. There we go. I like it. Sorry, I did put you on the concrete, though. That's a little messed up of me. <laughs> I also need to check Iris. Do you have any gigs happening? I need to recycle five times. Oh, well, do I have anything to recycle? Um, I guess I could recycle this dye that I have. It's for my aspiration. I figured it out by accident. You can also turn off the toddler app so they can't use it. Oh, how much are the other tablets, though? Are they more expensive? Because the Wabbit tablets, they're not like the cheapest, but they're not too bad on the terms of like expensiveness. All right, Kaden, let's cook something. All my Sims are so happy. Past Shella did a great job. Whatever she was doing back then did a great job making them happy. I think they're more expensive. Okay, gotcha. Milestone complete. Okay, I need to fabricate five items, have five dies. Oh, we can fabricate something. Oh, also, um, Iris is too afraid of plants. Are you serious? Oh, I need to get confident so I can feed my cow plant. Hold on. I totally forgot my cow plant is hungry. Go brush your teeth. We need to feed the cow plant. No, 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 no. I need to be confident. Psych self up. Otherwise, I'll never get over my fear of cow plants. Okay, here we go. Um, milk. Do it, do it, do it. There we go. Oh, my cousin texted me. Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thanks, Kaylee. There we go. <laughs> Iris is such a cute sim. Are y'all playing with your um, families right now? Like, what's the tea? Are we sims in blooming today? Oh, I'm so glad that they're hanging out. 
That makes me happy. Also, why are the bees just like falling out of the box? Oh my god, what does that mean? Oh, is that, are those mites? Those might be mites. Uh oh. I'm playing Career Legacy Gen 1. Oh my gosh. I'm building in The Sims. I'm doing the 100 infants. No Sims, only Tears of the Kingdom. You're on Career Legacy Day. Nice. You're taking a break from The Sims. You're working on a shell challenge. I haven't made a new shell challenge, have I? Maybe we can do that later this week. What do y'all say? You're working? Ugh. Hate that. Uncomfortably cold. Well, Forrest, can I ask why you're in the tub then if you're uncomfortably cold? Like, just don't do that. Maybe you can go paint or something. No Sims, just exam prep. Oh no, exams. Is it exam season for school right now? Book help. What does that mean? Why is she showing a fussy face? You're playing Dreamlight Valley? Nice! Bye, Fitzy. Thanks for hanging out. Sitting in the bathtub watching Sims and Bloom is so relaxing. Well, there you go. Oh, he's just reading her a book from the pool. That's so cute, except he's probably going to freeze. So we got to be careful. We wouldn't want that to happen. Not enough physical activity. Okay, well, you can go on a jog for us. You don't need me to tell you to do that. Like, you could just go. I'm not your real dad. I don't need to tell you to go jogging. Am I planning on streaming the new Dreamlight Valley update? Yeah, maybe. I'll have to see. There's like so many things that I need to get caught up on. Because I've just been, I've been MIA. There's also a game that I want to play with you guys called Sunhaven, but I'm like trying to decide if I want to do single player or if I want to see if someone will like co-op it with me, like another streamer friend. But I'm like too shy to ask people to, to stream with me, so... I'm in a bit of a conundrum, you know, but I think it'd be a fun game to like play with a friend. It's so fun. A sim celebration for Wednesday. That's fun. Miv started playing Sunhaven. Yeah, I heard that Miv started playing Sunhaven, but I wasn't here to watch, so I'm sad about that. <laughs> I was busy. I managed to pop into a couple streams yesterday, though. Oh no, you're a picky eater. Okay, big same, but it's not a good trait. It's not a good trait at all. Maybe your dad can come change your diaper. Did you finish your food? Oh, okay. Kaden, can you come change your diaper? Thank you. This poor kid is just sleeping out on the concrete. I feel a little bit bad for him. Should I just wake him up? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I was too busy getting married, you guys. I bought Sunhaven last week because you mentioned how much you like it. I'm obsessed. It's so good. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so funny, Sky Witcher. Well, I'm glad that she turned out well. Can I feed you? There we go. Oh, I should put this away too. We just made some yakisoba. Don't want that to go bad. Yeah, I think it's a game that you all will really like. And I'm wondering, like, I could probably do them on Saturdays, like Sunhaven Saturdays. Hates being carried. Uh-oh. Briar does not like being carried, and she's a picky eater. What's her other quirk? Love sound. Okay, well. At least you have some positive traits, Briar. <laughs> she's a bit of a difficult infant, but I think I remember Forrest being a bit of a difficult infant, too. Ew. 
gross. He just spit up all over the place. Feeding Tinkler? No, you're not going to pee all over me as I feed you, are you? That is so gross. That is so nasty. Ah. <sighs> Also, we'll do Planet Zoo's Day Tuesday as well. It's been a while since we've played in our zoo. And I don't know, there might be like maybe one or two people here that missed it. Potentially. Okay, can you put uh, Briar to bed? Thanks, Kaden. I have to see when birthdays are. When are they happening? Okay, not until the end of the week. So we have Winterfest, and then we have Born and Briar. I'll probably just age them up on the same day. Tuesday, Tuesday's on your birthday? Oh my gosh, great day. I'm not a Planet Zoo fan in any way. What do you mean? Okay, Lulu. Something is a little suspicious about your behavior. Because I think you are a Planet Zoo fan. Okay, is Forrest home from their jog? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Forrest is living the good life. Like, they worked really hard their whole life with their vet clinic, and now they just get to be grandpappy florist. Forrest, sorry, not florist. They are a florist, too, though. <laughs> I'm having Zeus Day Tuesday withdraws. Me, too. It's been forever. Okay. I'm not a zoo kid. What do you mean? Well, why not? Oh yeah, I can put those pictures on the wall. I took some pictures of my kid. Not these ones. This one. There you go. Add frame. There we go! So now I have photos of both Iris, or both Briar and Thorn as infants. That's cute. Honestly, I don't take photos of my non-air sims. I can't be bothered. Yeah, I'm usually in the same boat. I just wanted something for that space, though. So I figured might as well just take a quick photo. <sighs> Oh no, I've not been able to play Sims since the infant update because I lost my account in the migration process. I was too afraid to talk to EA about it, but I think it's time I try. Wish me luck. Oh no. Well, I hope they can get everything figured out for you. That's kind of scary. Your birthday twins. Do we have two birthdays this Tuesday? What G? That's exciting. Forrest, did you paint this? That's a really bad painting. Try again. Yeah, I hope they're able to help you. Did anyone else have issues with their accounts when they like swapped from Origin to the EA app? I hope they can get it figured out for you. Because, yeah, losing Sims packs is like losing hundreds of dollars. It's not cheap. All right, I'm going to bond with the bees and then collect the beeswax and the honey. Really quick. These are petals bees, so I feel like I need to keep them alive. She looks so cute in the little beekeeper outfit. Like her little braids and stuff. Like, look at her go. No, not when I swap, but it breaks a lot and doesn't let me log in a lot. I have only ever had that one issue. Do y'all remember that one day I went live and I was supposed to do shell tours and it just like wouldn't let me into the Sims? That was the only issue I've ever had. Thankfully. But still annoying. I'm going to have these two woohoo to get their fun up. Um, I think it's good for us to do that. Yeah, it made me really sad. Like, I wanted to cry. Forrest, what in the heck is this? Are you for real? Oh my god. I had a scare yesterday. I loaded only with base game installed. I repaired it and all my packs came back. Oh my gosh. 
That is scary. Okay, you two have fun. Have a good woohoo. Oh no, the baby's crying. Well, I just want them to have a fun time, you know? It was entirely my fault because it was an old account that used an old email. That email company changed their whole stuff months ago and deleted old emails. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. Thank you. Yes, I am back. I am back, baby. It happens to me all the time. It's annoying. Yeah, it feels good to be back. I'm not going to lie. I was really nervous about streaming today because I hadn't streamed in a while. So I was like, uh oh, have I forgotten how to do it? All right. Um, you're too afraid of the cow plant. Well, that's annoying. I think I'm going to delete your fear of the cow plant because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I find that to be annoying. Okay, Iris is doing some yoga. Does anyone want to take care of the kid? The kid was just crying. Oh, actually, it kind of looks like maybe he was just tired. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, let's go to sleep. I do have risky woohoo on at 5%. Do you all think I should check to see if Iris is pregnant? Because, like, what are the chances that she's actually pregnant? I guess it's 5% chance. But, like, I don't want another baby. Like, I want her to just have Briar and Thorn, and that's it. So, um, it's probably fine, right? Not pregnant. Okay, good. Oof. Just wanted to have a little fun woohooing. <laughs> Scary. By the way, I don't think the bees can die. If you don't take care of them, they'll just be mad and attack you. Okay. Oh, yeah, they attacked us all during uh, Harvest Fest. I remember that from last episode. That was a lot. Uh, this is just... Um, I just set it to rainbow, you know? I thought, it's Pride Month. We should have a rainbow waterfall, you know? What are the chances? 5%. <laughs> I love Iris because she's my body type. Love. She's one of my favorite Sims, so. We'd love to see it. Okay, Forrest, you need to sleep, my pal. My absolute pal. Why are you crying? Because you're starving? Oh, gosh. Well, maybe mom will wake up and hear your screams. <laughs> Twins are going to watch and hopefully fall asleep for a nap. Yay! Thank you, Casbo, and hi to the twins. Have a good nap. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Miles. Thanks so much. She's very cute and very relatable. Yeah, I really like Iris. I like that um, Forrest and Iris have kind of like healed the generational trauma of their family. Because, you know, Petal was absolutely bonkers crazy. And they're just, like, not having any of it. They're like, no, we're gonna be a healthy family. Okay. First blowout. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Something about this is such a funny screenshot. She's just like, I hate this thing. <laughs> You mean com Petal was completely awesome and half the reason to tune in? Petal was something. Can you change his diaper, please? I know you're stinky. I know. I know it's a lot. Yeah, baby pooped all over her. Honestly, like, this is from the baby peeing. You can't reach that? Why not? Well, do it in here then. Why can't they use that one? That's stupid. If an infant pooped on me, I would make the same face. Yeah, to be fair, I think she's very valid. <gasps> Holy cannoli, our bills are almost 5k. Oh, God. Why can't you change his diaper? I'm going to lose my mind. What is happening? Iris's other dad is dead. Don't worry about it. 
It was a platonic agreement, anyways. Hi, Hail. Any advice for streaming? Um, I think a lot of people think to start streaming, they need a fancy setup, which is just not true. So definitely just, you know, go go live and see if you like it before investing. You know what I mean? The common cold is super homophobic. I'm sick during Pride Month. You know, Tony was feeling sick the other night, too. Um, he's still a little sniffly today, a little congested, but I don't know what's going around. This is my YouTube comfort series. Really? Thank you. Grim just came to take my elder. Instead of going for the elder, he went to the bathroom and found he doesn't like the sink in there. Oh my god. Grim is so dramatic. My sim yelled at Blarfy and now he's sad. I don't know how to fix it. Oh. Um... I don't know if I've ever been able to repair a relationship with Blarfy before. Yucky virus is going around? Yeah. Okay, let's take a shower. Oh god, everyone's awake now. I, like, did not sleep at all. Hi, Briar. Good morning. I'm gonna bring you some watermelon salad. Thank you. I appreciate it, sweet music woman. You're very sweet. Hence the name, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you can go to work today, Kaden. Iris, do you want to take a bath? No? You're gonna just start grilling first thing in the morning after being pooed on? That's your vibe? Okay. Um. I get it. I understand. You're so valid. I won't be the one to stop you. They stole your wisdom teeth earlier this week. Uh-oh. I hope you're feeling better. Uncomfortable. Oh, is there? Is that because there's a stinky diaper on the ground? Well, I'll fix that for you. Sounds like motherhood from my life. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just going to grill first thing in the morning covered in, in poo. Iris actually likes trash, I think. I'm going to have her go shower, though. You got time. You got a support system here to help you out around the house. No need for you to suffer. Okay, how is our uh, imaginations level four? That is really good. Okay, let's get our thinking skill up. Um, let's play Sim Shape. Bye. Thank you for hanging out, Sinead. See you later. I can't go to Pride because I broke my foot. Now that's homophobic. Oh! <gasps> That's terrible. I'm sorry. Kaden is off to work. Oh, it's starting to snow, you guys. That's fun. I like that they have this like table that they can eat from now. Iris fabricated this with her own two hands. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I hope your foot heals. What's up with the gobs getting hurt recently? Everyone seems to have something going on. <laughs> Alright, you could go potty after that. Oh look, Iris is getting her me time in the bathtub. Let's go. What are you doing? You want to come downstairs and see Grandpappy Forest who left their chicken on the ground? Okay. Thank you, Forrest. I also really like Iris's style. Like, I don't normally dress my Sims like this, but I think she just has a really cute and unique style that she likes to wear. I like it quite a bit. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you. Very exciting. Very exciting times. Oh, and I guess I'll say this for the YouTube audience as well. Yeah, you can be jokesters. Um... But we uh, we bought a house, so any like IRL related stuff to the house, I'll be posting on my more Shella TikTok. So like, if I need help with like furniture or paint, you know, just like picking things out, gardening, uh, that will be going up on more Shella on TikTok. So help me! I've never gardened before, so I'm hoping that. There are some people in chat who might be able to give me advice. 
because I probably will mess it up if I don't have help. <laughs> yeah, I did. I had a lot of stuff happening. Got married and bought a house. Oh yeah, I did want to get a picture of these two. Forrest, what are you doing? You're going potty? Okay, that's fine. What if I... What if I, uh... Bring you two over here. Can the toddler stand on the little markers? The photo markers? Does anyone know? Should I do that? I'll make sure to ask my grandma. Thank you. Yeah, I'm entering my grandma era. Um, <laughs> a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, I've been engaged for like five years or something. I don't know. I've been engaged since 2019, so. Um, wait for photographer. Wait for photographer. All right, I'm going to force come over and take the photo of them. Hi, Princess Gem. How are you? Um, take a picture of Sims on the subject mark. Why is there not an OK button after that? There we go. Picture time. Sanji, why are you not? Wait for a photographer. What, are you going to do it now? Well, this is just not a good photo. Mother-daughter vibes, I guess. I'm doing great. At least I'm trying to do great with my Sims not doing good for me. <laughs> Why... I wish that she would like pick her up, you know what I mean? I think to get a photo like that, I'm gonna need to like get creative. Strawberries will spread and try to take over your whole garden. <laughs> yeah, I think I wanna do basil and I wanna do cilantro because that's what Tony would like. And then probably flowers. So I always take pictures caring with the toddlers because they don't cooperate otherwise. So you, you're saying I should, um, wait, so what should I do? Hold on. Why can you not click on this? Hello? Take a picture of carrying. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Pick her up. There we go. Come on! Why isn't it working? There we go. Maybe now? Am I doing it wrong? Because <laughs> my sims are not going! Am I doing it wrong? You're doing it right, it's just the Sims, okay. <sighs> well, this is very annoying. There we go, oh my god. Now that is a cute mother-daughter photo. Hi, Shella. So glad you're back. Hella missed your stream. So I'm back! Thank wish you! Love, wish, love, wish, love. Thank you, Jesse. And thanks for the resub as well. Look at how cute they are! I 
I guess there's only a limited number of poses, huh? Did I already get one of these? I don't know if I did. Maybe I should do a couple horizontal ones, though. This one's a really good one. There we go. Okay, thank you. You guys can go live your lives now. You just need to remove the side shoots of strawberries if you don't want them. See, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I didn't mention strawberries at all, though. Someone in chat just mentioned them. I was not planning on growing them. Um, I think, like, the only food-related gardening stuff I want to do at first is just some herbs, because I feel like that seems like easy because then you can also grow it in a container you know what i mean it doesn't have to be in a garden you could like have a nice little like planting container oh my gosh kiddo you're not doing great good thing forest is here oh no forest was not here to help you um good thing forest is here to help you now oh my gosh it's because i spent all day trying to get a picture that's what it was Okay, and now you're possessed. Lovely. Lovely. I want to find a spot for some more family photos, but where should I put them? I guess maybe we could put some on the front area, right? We should also probably get like an ottoman or like a side table up here. Something going on. I usually like doing this one. Oh, wait, no, I have that one there. Whoops, I can't do the same side table twice. Uh oh. Um, let's see. Ottoman. Ottomans. Hmm. That one's nice. Hi, raccoon. How are you? Uh, green onions are easy to grow too. Okay. I will take note of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is from the Eco Lifestyle Pack. Eco Lifestyle. Shoes. Probably just put some shoes over here. Grape tomatoes for fresh pico de gallo. Oh, that's fun. Um, where are the photos I just took? That's a pregnancy photo, which is super cute, but I'm looking like specifically for the photos I just took. Oh my god, I have this photo. <gasps> That's Everett and Forrest as an infant. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember that? There's Iris as an infant. Wow. That's crazy. Where did my uh, photos go? Oh, you know what? They're probably in uh, Forrest inventory. Yeah, here they are. That's a nice one. See, I really like this one. I think that this is a nice photo. Um, and then maybe I can do like a smaller one. She probably wants a picture of like her daughter in here, maybe. Maybe we can have one of these here. I feel bad though, because that's only one. <laughs> that's only one of the kids. So it kind of feels like she's the favorite, which we know she's the favorite, but that does feel a little bit mean. You know what I mean? Oh, I could do I could do a new family photo. Hold on a second. Right? Cause like now, or did I already do that before I left? 
Yeah, okay, I did. I did do a new family photo. Because now it's just them. Okay, well... I guess we all know who the favorite is. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, where's Olivia's face? Um, it's on her head. Just like around. <laughs> She's kind of curled around a little bit. I don't know how else to describe it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that is so cute. We got some cute photos. Yeah, it's super hidden. Okay. Yay! Oh, who's at my door? Cousin Maddie. Hello, Cousin Maddie. You're welcome to come in if you'd like to. I think I'm giving Ryer a bath first, though. We'll see if she sticks around. Is anyone else on the lavender gen for Sims and Bloom? Hey, cousin. This is our uh, trans cousin, Maddie. Okay, let's give bath to Briar. You can hang out, Maddie. I don't, I don't care what you do, honestly. I just got to take care of the kids, though. A little bit. <laughs> All right, can we do tummy time? Oh, we got the coup milestone. More choices. Tummy time. You you just finished that gen. You are okay. So we got a couple people on the same gen that I'm on. Really, Forrest? You're gonna leave that? J. Uh, under what conditions? I'll take some extra money. Forrest does not want to get married. They're uh, arrow ace, and not interested in that kind of relationship. We just had our second and third kids. Surprise twin boys named Jasper and Flynn. Oh, I love that. Hi there. I've been mainly absent from Sims for 18 months, but I'm getting back into it. What's Sims and Bloom? Oh, that's the, um, it's a legacy challenge that I'm doing. We just put a link in the chat if you want to check it out. Nightbot, uh, dropped the link for you. But, um, yeah, it basically every generation is based on a different flower. So it's a lot of fun. I've been taking a break from Sims. Don't look at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I actually uh, do have kits, by the way. I think I might do the kit giveaway tomorrow. I have the book kit and also the the new uh, outfits kit, which I haven't even looked at the, the grunge aesthetic outfit kit yet. But I figure maybe when Briar ages up, we can see if she wants to wear anything from that. When she gets a little older. Oh my god, Forrest, you're so flexible. Your foot went through the, the room there. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, I figure we could do some kit giveaways tomorrow. If anyone's interested in that. Courtesy of the creator program. Thank you, EA. Okay. Can we do some tummy time? Very good. Very, very good. Promoted to mentor. Let's go, Kaden. Wow. Okay, see, this is a cool teacher outfit. This is your best outfit yet, honestly. Um, All the other outfits you had were kind of eh. I love your hair clips. Thank you. I'm on the last gen of my current challenge. I've been thinking about having their kids roll into Sims and Bloom. Ooh, that could be a lot of fun. I think you should do it. The only thing in yoga I can't do is bounce on one foot by putting my foot straight back or forward. If only he wasn't so stinky. I feel like Kate is always, Kaden is always stinky. Look, why didn't you shower? Take a shower right now. Briar, you need to come get some food. Come on. Leave your dad to shower. Have some more watermelon salad. Why will he not shower? Is it because there's a kid in here? That's your daughter. Briar. 
Yeah, I think it's because his own daughter is in there and you're not supposed to shower in front of children, which totally understand, but also she's like three and that's your daughter. <laughs> Don't make it weird. How was your break? It was really good. I had a really good um, relaxing time for the most part. Got to see my family. Where did this trash come from? Oh my God. Barf. Yeah, it was it was really nice. Very, very nice. Okay, Kaden is clean again, finally. What do we need to do to get promoted? Research and debate level four. All right, well, let's start working on that. We'll practice debate. All right, Forrest, let's go on your daily jog. Thank you. Are you going to play Sims and Bloom tomorrow or do something different? I think we'll probably play Sims and Bloom tomorrow as well. If that's cool with you guys it's just it's been so long since um since our last time playing sims and bloom that i kind of just want to like sim you know hi emma how are you they don't even shower with your cat in the room in game oh my gosh that's kind of dramatic okay kid is asleep upstairs perfect is he sleeping with his eyes open Okay, that must have just been me, but I thought I thought his eyes were open and that was a little cursed. I missed Sims in Bloom. Yeah, I missed it a lot. Um I'm hoping to um oh Kylie's calling, yeah. I am hoping to have um a not so berry and a 100 baby challenge episode posted this week as well. This coming week. So I'm trying to get back into the YouTube swing of things, you know. Today I posted uh, the build of our 100 baby house. So if you missed that, it is up on the channel. She's just hanging out talking to Kylie. Having a great time. Sim's teeth. Okay, can we talk about this? Sim teeth are kind of scary. Like, that's a lot. Smile. That's a lot. Jane, thank you for the 30 months. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. They need to be worked on. <laughs> uh, Sim's teeth are kind of terrifying, like, honestly. Did I enjoy my break? I did. I, I got some things done some things out of the way we finally got married and uh we bought a house so my busy period is not done yet it's gonna be a little bit busy this whole month but that's okay at least the infants don't hiss anymore i kind of liked the hissing it was like cursed but in a good way like sometimes cursed things are are nice and i like them Fabricate a double bed. Oh, can I do this? Wait, I want to purchase some red dye then. Maybe I can make a double bed for my daughter. Thank you. Yeah, just check that off the to-do list, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I got married and um, we bought a house, so gonna be a little bit busy for the rest of the month but then also i don't think it's just gonna stop once we move because we still got to get settled and buy furniture and everything so yeah it'll be a lot okay i got a world map i want to put this in here because we're a teacher because we are a teacher i think that makes sense to have I've been side questing. <laughs> I've been doing something, all right. I'm always, always working, you guys. Always working. Here we go. I'm so sad about the photo thing being fixed. Yeah, I heard about that. What are they thinking? All right, let's get some leftovers. Thank you. 
I personally think it's a nice house, especially for our first time homeowners. We got very lucky with our uh, with our find. And we have a realtor that's basically a wizard. Who are you? Do I know you? Why are you playing with my cow plant? But yeah, basically, um, we obviously were not the only offer on the house, but our realtor heavily played into the their newlyweds thing. So the sellers were like, okay, yeah, we like newlyweds. So we were like, <laughs> so that's how we, that's how they accepted our offer, which we are very grateful about. Yeah, it was very nice. No, I actually, the only time I posted was the first time we went to look at a house, Logical Alex, but um, that one is not the house we got. I didn't actually post a video of the house we got. I took one, but I was like, you know, I don't know if I want the world to know uh, what the house looks like, you know, like on the inside, the full floor plan and everything for safety purposes. So that is why I didn't post it. I might have posted it if we didn't get it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, good tip saying you're newlywed. I mean, it's not a lie. We are newlyweds, so yeah. Very good. Okay, kid's awake and angry, pooing and peeing himself. Can you go take care of the kid? Comfort. Feed. Maybe change diaper. There we go. Hayden's a great dad. Yeah, exactly. I did, I did show pictures of um, my first stream today, the like really short one. Um, we have a crab apple tree. That's really pretty because it's got like purple flowers uh, and a birch tree that I really like. And obviously some pine trees because it's Minnesota. <laughs> so there's like a lot of trees around the house that I'm very like, very much like. Look at Kaden being a good dad. Yeah, I think like a little bit later, I might do a build challenge for us where I can like recreate my living room or my office in The Sims and put it as a room on the gallery and um, have you guys help me figure out layout and everything <laughs> for like my streaming space um, or like for a TV and a couch. I think that could be kind of fun. It'd be like a mini shell challenge because it's literally just one room and you're going to help me furnish it or at least give me ideas. I'll put you to work, chat. What do you say? <laughs> I think it could be kind of fun. Oh, look, Kaden's mom is over. Hello, here to see your granddaughter. Oh my God, she's so tired. Can someone help her go potty? Potty help now from Forest. Uses all the expensive and yellow items. If you put yellow items, I will literally eliminate you from the competition, so. <laughs> it's not that common in your country yeah i guess it depends on where you live i've been living in apartments uh since i left my parents house so i'm very glad to have the opportunity to live in a house now right, let's feed the cow plant get ready for bed there we go Sounds like another all yellow build. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, Forrest is about to pee themselves. Okay, Forrest, you you can go pee. I'm sorry. Imagine like teaching your granddaughter how to go potty, but then you end up peeing your pants while trying to help her. That's like the worst advice ever. That's a bad example, Forrest. <laughs> we can't be having that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Lex, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm Mrs. Shella Shellerson now. Thank you. My full government name. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, 
I'm the Goblin Queen. Yeah, Tony's full name is Tony Shellerson. Yes. So, uh, yeah. In case you're looking for us. Family that potties together stays together. <laughs> oh no. Let's clean that. Why are you crying? Because you're stinky? Well, you know what? That's tough. Because stinky is not a life-threatening state. So you can stay stinky all night. Doesn't bother me. Meet the Shellersons, yeah. We got Olivia Shellerson, Rayla Shellerson, Shuckle Shellerson, Shella Shellerson, and Tony Shellerson. Oh my gosh, it's Everett! Hi, Everett! It's good to see you. I love you, but I'm gonna delete you really quick because I don't want you to be here because I want to fast forward through the night. Thank you. Bye! Bye, bestie! Happy 21 months. <gasps> Madison! Thank you for the 21 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, he's a self-soother. That's good. Oof. I got a plush lobster when I went to the seaside and named it Shella Shellerson the third. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Congratulations, Shella. <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you. Hi, Nanari. It's good to see you as well. Thank you. As the mother of a three and a half year old, I'm trying to potty train and I can say with full confidence that I've asked my child to potty with me many times. There you go. Set a good example. That's great. Yeah, I was very overwhelmed with the uh with the amount of love and comments on my on my tweet because I was not expecting that. I was expecting like maybe a couple people. So um I read through them all, but I definitely could not reply to every single one. So thank you everyone. <laughs> I was very overwhelmed. I was like, oh my god. So many people are being nice to me right now. Uh what do I do? It's too much for me. Thank you. Very exciting times. Goob. Who is a good girl? My friend, my college roommate came uh, to my wedding. So she was staying with us. And it's so funny because Olivia doesn't like people. But she really remembers my, my roommate. She went 100% is like, oh, I know her. Because we used to live together. So it's so cute because usually when I have a friend over and we're we're sleeping, like Olivia won't join us in the bed. But uh while while she was here, Olivia like curled up in between us. It was so cute. I was like, oh my god, she remembers you. Actually, no, I don't want to cook a grand meal. Let's get leftovers. Um Oh, that's awesome. Schooled out loud with happiness when I saw the tweet. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I told a couple people I was getting married before it happened, but I don't even think I told my mods. Did I? I might have told them. I think I said something like a month ago and I was like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm getting married. And they were like, yay. And then I think they maybe forgot. You did not tell us? Oh. Well. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't really tell anyone. <laughs> I think I told like two people. <laughs> So, all right, let's feed the baby and clean the baby. It's baby time. Yeah, surprise mods. I was just like, goodbye mods. I am going on a vacation. And they were like, good vacation, Shella. We had a ceremony. Uh, I've been living with my husband for like five years. So we live together. I kind of guessed when you said you were waiting to dye your hair. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, I did say that. I didn't know that anyone would pick up on that. But so if you all remember, those of you who have been around for a while, I used to have dark purple hair, right? I loved that hair. I think I would have kept it for the most part. But then I was like, I have to get married and I don't know if I want my hair to be dark purple. So I started the process to get it to here. And then once it was here, I was like, I missed the purple. But I think I'm going to wait to add color for a little bit. And that's all I said, but I guess maybe a couple of you were perceptive and picked up that maybe there's a reason she doesn't want to add color. And that reason might be because she's getting married, which, yes, that's exactly what it was. I wasn't sure if I wanted to have like a little bit of purple in my hair, so I decided not to. Because like, what if it wasn't exactly what I wanted, you know? 
I told Lulu because Lulu edits for me. So I had to tell Lulu, by the way, I'm getting married. No videos for two weeks. <laughs> so yeah, I told Lulu. Uh, thanks for the scratches for Olivia. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so. I had to tell Lulu so that she wouldn't be like, uh, Shella, where are the videos? So you're welcome. Right, let's get some leftovers. Briar is sleeping for a long time. We like that. Did dad not give you a bath? Oh my god, my poor sweet summer child. Uh, oh, he went to work. Okay, that's a good excuse to not give your kid a bath. I get it. I understand. I'll do it. <laughs> yes, Lulu edits for me. When Simsy said you got married, I was like, OMG, I'm so happy for her. Oh, did she really? Yeah, I told... The only people I told beforehand were my friends, like my stream friends. Because I was just like, I need to tell someone. Um, so, so I told them. And then... I could have sworn I said something to the mods, but who knows. To be honest with you guys, the whole like couple month has been like a blur. I hardly remember anything that's going on anymore. Like my head is all over the place. So like sometimes it'd be like, oh yeah, I totally told you this. And they're like, Shella, you literally did not say a word. And I'm like, oh, well in my head, I told you. I'm like at that state of mind right now. So I seem to remember you making an offhand comment ages ago that you were planning to just go get married. Yeah, and I did. I did. We've known the date since like March. So. Hi, Nia. I miss you too. Probably thought about how to say it a million times. Yeah. Probably. And then I wasn't really sure if I wanted to like make an announcement to the community or something. So that's why I decided to do the tweet the way I did it. Where. Oh. Where it wasn't even necessarily uh words at all it was just the date and the wedding ring which i think was pretty cute so i'm happy with how it happened yeah march i'm back i'm back baby yeah things get lost exactly you want to see the ring? Uh, I'm not wearing my full ring right now. Just have my wedding band on. But if you want to see the ring, I posted a picture of it on my Twitter. So I think you can just look back a little bit and you'll be able to find it. Oh, what are we doing? We're milestoning. Thank you. Oh, look, my mods have a link to it. Thanks, Saki. Laugh milestone unlocked. Is this the first time my kid has been happy? Oh boy. Now isn't that something? Oh, he's he's EP. This is such a cute picture of them. Thanks mods. Yeah, I'm very very happy with it. It's very non-traditional and I loved it. I loved it and I wanted to change it. hoodies and jeans <laughs> that's fun yeah we just invited our families and a couple friends each um so yeah yeah i wore a purple dress mm -hmm. wasn't even a wedding dress which saved me a lot of money all right i want to do tummy time these and thank you Belize? That's how cool people do it. Me. <laughs> you think you're cool, Lulu? Interesting. At least someone thinks you're cool. Alright, Force is back. Roll over onto Tummy Milestone! Oh, they got a picture of it. Nice. Nice. Are you gonna go feed your kid? I thought I gave her a salad. Where did it go? Did you not eat it all? 
eat your watermelon salad right now, Briar. Technically, any dress you get married in is a wedding dress. So true. Listen to advice. What is Forrest telling me that I don't already know? I think maybe they're giving me advice on how to raise my kids. Which, honestly, Forrest was a great parent. I would take advice from them any day. There's little Briar making a mess. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Aww. That's so cute. I'm glad that you've been married for that long. That's really awesome. Okay. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Briar and Thorn are such cuties. I love the little rosy posies. I love them too. They're cute kids. They're going to be aging up. I'm going to age them both up on Friday, I think. You love the dress. Thank you. I had so much anxiety about the idea of going through a process of trying to find a wedding dress. Like the idea of needing to select one stressed me out so much that I just did not... Um want to do it so I didn't because I do not like being perceived <laughs> and doing that you would be very perceived so yeah exactly and it was purple which was good vibes but now I am free to add purple to my hair again so we'll see what happens the next time I go to the salon chat which will be a while from now so not anytime soon your wedding dress was purple too? Oh my god, yes! It was like a tasteful purple too, in my opinion. Like a nice lavender, nice lilac color. Oh, that's so fun! Just a nice casual wedding. Saved a lot. Yours was a deep purple, nice. Yellow hair arc? No, I'm not dyeing my hair yellow. Y'all are wrong. You seem very fairy core, which was cute. Thank you. I'm excited, but also nervous to go through photos of the, the wedding. Cause like my sister-in-law is a photographer. So she took a lot of photos for us. Um, I'll try to explain this the best way possible. The thing about me is I perceive myself in a certain way. I look in the mirror, I see something, that's what I look like. I like the way I look. I, I'm happy with myself. Um, I'm not like insecure in any way um, when I look at myself. But then if I see myself in a photo taken by someone else, I'm like, oh my God, who is that? She's hideous. Like that does not, like something about that like disconnects in my brain and I feel very like, ooh, about it. So I have so much anxiety about seeing photos um, of that day because I didn't take the photo. So I'm afraid that I'm going to see those and be like, I do not feel like myself. I do not look like myself. I hate the way I look. So I'm just like, you know, so I'm like anxious because I really want to like them. And I'm going to try really hard to like go into it with a healthy mindset of like, you know, it's my wedding. It's me. But like, I'm just so nervous that it's going to like, not be what I I expect to see, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just a little... Uh, uh, yeah. Same with videos. Exactly. Like, I don't know what it is about being on Twitch stream. Like, I look at myself right now and I'm like, that's me. That's what I look like. But if someone were to take a video of me, I'd be like, who is that? Side eye. Side eye. You know what I mean? I hated my wedding photos at the time and now I'm four years out and I wouldn't change a thing. That's also something I need to be mindful of, I think. I think if I look at them, I might have harsher opinions about them than if I look at them later. I might be like, why was I so like freaked out about them? They're not even bad. You know, like I might just be a little bit more critical in the moment. So I don't know. I'm just going to try my best <laughs> to be open minded. 
So yeah. I have the same feeling as you, but speaking from experience, the memories of those photos will overtake your assessment of how you look. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. That is what I'm hoping for. I'm also just a little nervous because I was so stressed out. I was having a really bad breakout, like on my chin. Um, so I'm worried that the makeup did not look good like here. So I'm going to, I guess if it looks bad, I could just go through and like Photoshop it, patch it up a little bit. But like, I'm so nervous about it because I'm like, oh my gosh, of course I'm breaking out right before the wedding. Like, why wouldn't I? <sighs> I look so different in the mirror than in photos and it's always so bad for my ego. Yeah, that's how I feel too. I'm trying to work on it though. Forrest, I love you. Look at this guy. They're so great. Opinions soften as you age. Take it from a 61 year old. Yeah, I need to just relax probably is my biggest thing. All right, I'm going to sell these after I'm done fabricating. I was nervous about my photos, too, because the photographer was employed by the chapel, so we had no idea who he was, but he was amazing. The pictures were so cute. That's awesome. That makes me happy. You just completed Dreamlight Valley? Nice. I full on lost my voice right before my wedding and barely had it back on my wedding. Oh, no. That sucks. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I would like to practice some yoga with Iris. I feel like Forrest and Iris really kind of feed off of each other in the things that they do. Forrest, can you feed the kid? There we go. Perfect. You're just hanging out. You're just swimming, having a great time, Kaden. Honestly, though, maybe you should work on your research and debate skill. There we go. Yeah, I bet it is because the mirrored thing. You're probably right. I like that uh, Briar is able to, like, entertain herself. Like, she's just hanging out in her bedroom, playing with blocks in her cowboy pajamas. Just yeehaw. My cousin is getting married next month and I'm super excited about it. That's awesome. I laugh about it now. It's just part of the overall day and it's so funny. Yeah, it was also really hot on my wedding day, which usually would be fine, except the um, courthouse that we went to didn't have AC or it wasn't on slash working. So. Um, oh, my God, imagine being held by someone in a beekeeper outfit. Um, but yeah, so it was just really hot. And we were like, oh no. At least it was short. Uh, practice sitting. That was the one thing that I really liked. It wasn't like a long ceremony or anything. Stop crying! I want to practice sitting. Yeah, it was really nice. Also, um, it was so the day before the ceremony was the first time our families met, by the way. So that was interesting. Um, definitely went really well, but there were a couple unexpected moments um, that involved the result of drinking heavily from our parents. And we were just like, side eye, <laughs> like, what is happening? They were like trying to embarrass us or something. Like Tony and I were both like, what is happening right now? Like, why are they doing this? Like moments that would just make your jaw hit the floor. Part of it was also a language barrier. And we were just like, we want to delete ourselves right now. <laughs> It was so, so messed up. It's not even family friendly, so I can't even tell you guys the joke. Why are you not forest? Practice sitting. 
Like, I wish I could tell you all, but it's not a family friendly joke. That's how bad it was. And I was like, this is literally, this is the first time y'all have met and this is what you're going to say. It straight up didn't occur to me that our parents hadn't met before our wedding. And then it happened. It was awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> Everest. Ah! Hello. Hi, Everest. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a lovely stream. Everest, you were watching the game show thing too, right? I think it was you, me, and Momo. Um, but I hope you had a good time. Thank you for raiding us. My name is Shella. Shella Shellerson the third. Uh... I use she, her pronouns. Happy Pride Month. Also, this is my cat, Olivia. Thanks for the follow. Get some scratches for Olivia. Yes, yes. Go follow my friend Emerys, y'all. Again, it is Pride Month. It is homophobic if you don't follow them. He's the best little guy I know. <laughs> We're playing with my um, Sims and Bloom family right now. And my Sim in the Beekeeper outfit won't work with this infant. And it's bothering me. So I'm having a hard time. Practice sitting. We checked out the demo demo for Bookwalker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Oh my gosh. It looks so interesting. I was like, I've never seen a game like that. The whole premise behind it was so intriguing. Okay, you know what, Forrest, you're useless to us. I'm gonna see if Iris can come do this then. Um, but also go take care of yourself if you need to do post-stream stuff. Yeah, I'm Mrs. Sheller Shellerson the third now. That's right. Mrs. Shella Shellerson. Okay, kid is hungry. Why don't you ask your dad for food? That's fine. I'll just teleport you downstairs. We can give you some of this. There you go. The demo was so fascinating. I'm really excited for the full game. Oh, I'll have to check that out. There were like actually a, a, quite a few games that I was like actually interested in. So I'm very excited and it was such a cool, cool opportunity. Bye. See you later. Hi, Courtney. What's the second kid's name? Uh, his name is Thorn. We have Briar and Thorn for the Rose Generation. Um, so yeah. Welcome back, Miss Shella Shellerson the third. You are missed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back. All right, let's take care of our needs here. All right. Did I miss an event? Yeah, we watched a game showcase for a future game show show event, and um, it was really good. It was an hour and 30 minutes long. So. Um, Paleo Pines was in the demonstration as well, which was another game that I'm very, very interested in trying. So... Very excited about that. Okay. What was it called? Um, it was called the Future Game Show Summer Showcase. If you're curious and going and watching it. I think I retweeted their thing. Welcome back. If you want a quick link to it. Uh, Robin, thank you for the 36 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I've been following Paleo Pines for a while. Oh, that's awesome. They're doing a beta, I think. What was it? The 19th or something? Okay, something in here spoiled. The honey cake? Aww. Oh, dang it. I was going to use that for another birthday cake. I love that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, I dumpster diving? Iris. What is she dumpster diving for? I was babysitting a two-year-old last night. Oh, fun. Hey, why are you dumpster diving? Eat some food. Yeah, I think you can only make a honey cake if you have bees, because you need the honey for it. I just aged up my Sims and Bloom Gen 3 Air Garland. Ooh, fun. Yeah, we have we have a bee box right here. So that's where I'm getting all the honey from. Did you not eat your food? 
ma'am, where is your food? She is a picky eater, so I really have to keep watching her and making sure she's not, like, starving herself. Also, my son is just on the floor. Oh, my God. <laughs> this family's a wreck. She was kind of violent. Oh, a two-year-old being violent? Sounds about right. Briar, eat your food. How come that wasn't enough to fill you up? She needs something else. Well, you like watermelon salad, so come grab one of those. I'm finishing up Knott's Berry, and the children of Gen 10 are going to be the start of Sims and Bloom. Oh my gosh, that's so fun! I am currently on Gen 3 of my Sims and Bloom, so... I'm not that far into it yet, but I'm having a very good time. Um, I think we're going to be able to age up my sims today before the end of the stream or i don't know should i save that for next stream because we're gonna be playing tomorrow i don't know the thing is is i today's stream's a little bit weird because i'm already streaming at a time that i don't normally stream at because of the games showcase so i'm like hmm what do i do what are the vibes when do i end <laughs> thanks bruin i appreciate it thank you where did my cat go as well? Um, how long have I been live? Because I do have to get some things done today. Some editing things, by the way. Okay, almost two hours. Okay, I'll go for two hours. So we'll play for another like 20 minutes, which I don't think we'll get to Friday in 20 minutes, but... Um, I plan on playing Sims and Bloom tomorrow on stream at our normal time, so um, that way I guess more people will also be around for whenever the kids age up, which is probably something they don't want to miss. So I think that's a good strategy for us. Okay, you're really stinky smelly. Forrest, can you give your granddaughter a bath? Thank you. They set the table. No one's going to eat there. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. I miss YouTube legacies. Yes, those will all be um, strict family dynamic. No, those will all be coming back this week. Um, and today I posted a video of the 100 baby challenge house build. So, yep, I already recorded next not so berry and the next 100 baby episodes. So we will be ready to go. All right, let's go to sleep. Man, I really want to check out like the clothes and stuff. But I don't have like a team to check out the clothes with. Do you all think do you all think that the grunge kit could be for adults too though? Probably. Right? I just want to check out the new clothes. So maybe I maybe I just should. What if Caden we could give Caden a little makeover maybe? Cuz I don't think Iris has that style, but I don't know. I haven't seen what's in the kits yet. Because I was away. So I didn't even watch any videos on it at all. <laughs> You'll have to watch the VOD. No, that's totally fair. Huh? Iris hasn't been acting like her normal self lately. Iris has been very scared and a bit paranoid. Okay. For why? Why are you paranoid? You're not even scared. You're scared of a ghost cat? Is that why you're paranoid? It's just our clothes. <laughs> yeah, maybe I could look at the clothes on Caden. Okay, well, now we are creative, recycle disciple, cheerful, perfectionist, paranoid, loner. Okay, well, that's interesting. My Lavender Jen is with Knox Greenboro, and I made him wear some of the new outfits. Ooh, yeah, those vibes sound like they'd be good for him. <gasps> Crazy Anna, thank you for the Risa for 18 months. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I didn't even realize. We're almost at 100 subs today. That is actually unheard of. I guess that's what happens when I don't stream for two weeks, huh? <laughs> Thank you all so much. Okay, Kaden, you're going to take care of the boy, right? Yep. All right. 
Not barf licking the poo water. Barf, that is so gross. Barf, no. Oh my god. Uh, barf. Barf was named correctly. I mean, yeah. That is so gross. Come on, take care of your kid. Kaden, what are you doing? Here we go. Oh my god. I'm stressed. <laughs> I am stressed out by this. As a pet owner, that is so legit. I feel seen. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Winterfest today. Oh boy. I don't know if I want to celebrate Winterfest though. I guess I could get some presents or something. Alright. I kind of want to go check out Caden in cast with the new uh, outfits. Let's see if we can give him a little bit of a wardrobe upgrade. Mall craze. Ooh. Where was it shown? All right, let's make another outfit. So to find the new clothes, right? Am I going to have to search by kit and then see? Here's the thing. I wish that they would let us filter by specific kits. Like, why aren't they letting us do that yet? Okay, here we go. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, yeah. Maybe maybe Kaden will like some of these. That's a fun one. Nice oversized sweater. Oh yeah. This is giving very like hot topic vibes. I like that. You get to design a mall. Okay. I'll have to check that out. Oh my god, the strings aren't even drawn on. Wait, that's actually good. I think he would wear this, you guys. Maybe not something like this. I don't know if that's totally his vibes, but like... I'm thinking this he would totally wear. Real grunge kit? You don't think this is a real grunge kit? No, I want to do kits. Okay, we got the like belts and everything. I guess I wouldn't know the difference. It's a grunge kit, not a goth kit. Huh. Yeah. That's what I was expecting though. Do you think it looks weird to have like shorts under this? Should I go with like the jeans? Yeah, I think so maybe. The Converse is kind of a vibe. Are there any new shoes, though? Oh, my God. <gasps> they have high tops. And these look like uh, Vans. Oh, yeah. This is definitely, definitely his vibe. <gasps> those look so good. The textures on those. Do y'all see this? Oh my gosh, he looks so good. Okay, yeah, I like that outfit on him. Maybe I want to see... This is such like a preppy vibe. Should I give him a grunge vibe too? <laughs> a grungy summer vibe? I think I should maybe. Do one of these. He looks like your ex. Uh-oh. <laughs> maybe that's not the best thing. Maybe purple shorts because of his uh his wife. Got the high tops. Those are nice. What kind of socks would you wear with this, do you think? Or would people wear like no show socks? See, that just looks a little awkward, though. Maybe just black socks? I think that's nice. 
Were there any, uh... There were some tattoos that came in. <gasps> Ooh! What other tattoos? This one? Okay. Have to be very careful so you don't miss any. Okay, so it looks like two tattoos. Yeah, we'll give him a tattoo. I like that. Um, anything else? Was there anything on his head? Like new hats and stuff? Probably, right? Oh, a beanie! <gasps> Holy cannoli, you guys! <laughs> this looks so good. Are you kidding me? I don't know if he'd wear that in the summer, though. Maybe we can put that on his uh, everyday outfit, though. I'm just exploring because I haven't seen the kits yet. Play. Sorry, everyone. Soleil! Thank you, Mooney, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, there we go. Okay, what about glasses? Any... I guess I could sort by kits. Yeah, what was added to this one? Oh, these. Okay, that looks really good. <laughs> he looks really good. Okay, you can keep that. I like that. Perfect. Tube socks, nice. I wish I could pull off a beanie. I just don't know if I can. But also, can we look at this beanie and then look at like the first beanie that they put in the game? So this is the new one. This is the old one. I think there's a huge improvement in quality. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Did we also like say his beard was gonna get a little bit bigger or did I already upgrade his beard game? I can't remember. I feel like maybe we were gonna give him more stubble, right? Cause he's a bit older now. I think that's kind of good. I actually quite like that. Okay, he has a preppy party outfit. Maybe we should go for like a not preppy party outfit. Let's go to the kits. Okay, it doesn't look like there is one that came with the new. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my God. Rave, Kaden? Thoughts? Yeah, I use CC eyelashes. I use the Kajiko eyelashes. I don't know if Rave, Kaden's a thing. <laughs> Maybe something like this, though. Very much the opposite vibe that we had going. Um... Also, I don't know how to dress Sims, so if this looks lame, I'm sorry. I'm just out here doing my best. All right, Beanie. Let's get it. How do you spell the name for the eyelashes? Um, I can just give you a link. There you go. He's changing his whole personality for the new kit. Well, you know, he kind of had this vibe beforehand, so I don't know if it's that much of a change, but I do really like this secondary outfit. Okay, I want to I wanna see if anything will work with Iris. We'll see. I'm not too certain anything will. The ad scared me, and I thought <gasps> I needed to do this. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for the resub for 31 months. Yeah, the ads can be a lot sometimes, so... All right, let's see if anything goes with Iris's vibe. So this is the uh, outfit. Oh, it's even got a little backpack. See, I don't know. Oh, see, there's some really pretty swatches in this. We got to keep them purple, so maybe not this. 
I do think that's a cute outfit, but it's just not Iris's vibe, you know? Um, a new scrunchie? Like, for your wrist? There's a new scrunchie for your Sims wrist. Ooh, oh my god, this is almost psychedelic vibes. You think my Sims are cute? Thanks. It's in the bracelets? Okay, I'll have to check that out. Well, we have this purple shirt, but I feel like that's just not really anything. I feel like maybe she could have made this, though. You know what I mean? Like, she's a very crafty sim. What if she, like, tie-dyed her own... Um... You know? I feel like she could have. Scrunchie! Oh, we can make a purple scrunchie. That's so cute. There's chipped nail polish, too. <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. I feel like we can definitely probably play around with it more with our daughter as she ages up. This is fun, though. Like, these are good vibes. I almost think that she could, like, rock this. Iris really doesn't care what people say or think. She just does what she wants to do which I respect very deeply. <laughs> and it, I think it's cute that she wears her little knitted socks that she made. It kind of pulls the whole outfit together, don't you think? I think that's adorable. It looks very like artsy, like she made it herself, which is her vibe, you know? Yeah, we can do the shorts. I like the shorts. I think it's so cute. Um, any other accessories for women? Oh, there's these keys. I don't, I don't think that's the vibe. Glasses are probably the same. Okay, so we'll just keep our glasses on. Um, we have the Sims and Bloom tattoo. Then there's the beanie, which I will say, I think that this beanie with this hair looks a little bit like Conehead vibes. I don't know about it. It looks like she's mega mind under there. Not a big fan of that. So I don't think I'll be wearing it with that hair. It's just not a vibe. The problem with the beanies in the game is they don't cover the ears. Yeah, I feel like it needs to come down further. It looks like she's like hiding something, you know? I love the top. I like it too. I think it's giving me vibes like she made it herself. You can see her bra under this. Should I change the bra? Or does it not let you change the bra? I guess not, because it just goes back to the pink default. I was wondering if I could change it to black, but I guess not. Oh, I guess not. I think it's part of the top, okay. Does the color change depending on what you wear? No, it doesn't look like it. Interesting. Interesting. I want to buy a crop like that. I know, isn't it cute? I think she's freaking adorable. I love Iris. I think I'll put her hair in the braids for this one too. Yeah. You look a really good girl. Um, Maybe we'll give her a grungy kind of outfit for winter though. I'm thinking like a sweater would look nice. Purple sweater. Yeah, we could just wear this, honestly. I like it. The tie-dye top is giving by pride. Yes. Love it. Okay, well, I I like it a lot. But yeah, I think uh, whenever uh, Briar ages up, we can start using some of those aesthetics. Are there are there any uh, kids clothes in that kit? I'm guessing not, right? It's probably just teens and adults. But I'm so excited to see what Briar looks like when she ages up. Because she's so stinking cute. And then this is our youngest. This is Thorn. I definitely can tell that he has Caden's eyes. And Briar has... Uh, Iris's eyes. All right. This is such a cute outfit, though. 
Fortunately not, but you can make her look grunge otherwise. True. Well, there we go. We got to use some of the new kit items with my Sims. Yay! <laughs> okay, well, I think I want to leave uh, some stuff for tomorrow because I'm going to be live again tomorrow at our normal time. It's fun day Sunday, and we will be playing Sims in Bloom. And both of our children will be aging up. Uh, it says that's only Thorne's birthday on Friday, but I think I'm going to just age them both up on Friday. So we will have a toddler and a child, which is exciting because I feel like once a sim becomes a child, you can kind of start telling what they're going to look like when they get older. So it's really exciting. Um, the house is in a bit of disarray, so I think I'll leave this as a problem for tomorrow, Shella, to deal with. So yeah. I'm having problems coming up with a name for the forget me not flower gen. Oh man, I haven't gotten to that one yet. I wonder if I will have problems too. I don't know. Okay, well, thank you all for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I missed you all so much. Uh, thanks for being here today. It really means a lot. And I will see you tomorrow. I wonder who I should raid. Who's even live at this time? Should we go see who's live? Should we go see who's live? I missed you guys too. Thank you so much. So yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit the follow button. You can join our Discord server for updates. And uh, yeah, subscribe to YouTube as well. Um, and if you want to see the wedding stuff, I posted something on Twitter. So yeah, thank you. Uh, let's go see who's live. Hum de hum de hum. Um, oh my gosh, my bestie, uh, Simsy's live. I never get to raid Simsy because normally I stream a little bit later. Go say hi to Kayla. Do you want to scare her a little? I don't know. Maybe it won't scare her. What if we, what if we make this our raid message? What if, what if that's our raid message? Thoughts? Just Simsy Rish stare. Simsy Rish stare. <laughs> Deal? Okay. Well, I will see you guys in there. Let me get the raid started. And um, I'll be here tomorrow at uh, normal time, 5 p.m. Eastern. So yeah, uh, thank you all for hanging out with me. I love you all a lot. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.